Hello, welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel, and by the way, it's a pleasure serving you guys, okay? Alright, thanks for hanging around, okay? Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Check out the links I have below. I have a, a GoFundMe, a um, Patreon, uh, Amazon. See if any of that interests you, and if you would like to participate, I welcome that. Okay, subscribe if this is your first time on my channel. I have gotten a lot of subscribers lately, and I want to thank my YouTube family for that, because I'm sure that you all are spreading the word, and others are finding me through the search. Okay, alright, so I want to show you how to make, okay... You know how you make a cheesecake? So we're going to make a sweet potato cheesecake. Oh yeah, I dug this one up. I mean, this is really one that I dreamt about in my head. So we're going to see how it works out, okay? I think it will, okay? Sweet potato cheesecake. Alright, let's do it. Wait, let me focus it. Okay, so I have my Ninja. I baked uh, five medium sweet potatoes in the oven on 350 until they became soft. Then once they became soft, I took them out of their uh, skin. Out of the, um, yeah, not the skin. Oh, God. The outer covering of the sweet potato. I took it out and so then I was just left with the sweet potatoes and I put that in the freezer and I just took it out so I was gonna just make this for myself and I said well wait a minute why don't I just share this with my YouTube family so in here I have the five sweet potatoes which have is doesn't look like much but it is five uh, medium sweet potatoes there and I have some cinnamon in here and I have seven packs of Nature Taste uh, Blue which is uh, basically sugar substitute okay alright so I'm gonna add three more packs of sugar substitute and I'm working with the Ninja like I, I don't know if I said that or not but I'm saying it now Alright, there we go. So now I have 10 packs of the sugar substitute. You can use regular sugar, you can use honey, it's up to you. Okay, and this is cream cheese. Okay, and I'm going to, and this is a 8 ounce pack. So I'm going to use half of this, which is 4 ounces. So I'm just going to cut this right in half, and that would be my four ounces. Oh, there we go. All right, now I'm just going to drop that in. Wash my hand. Okay, I have some light cream and the cinnamon I just uh, sprinkled in, I don't know, maybe five tablespoons. We might have to add some more. Okay, so we're caught up so far. Five sweet potatoes baked in the oven at 350. Uh, let them cool, peel them, and I put the um, sweet potatoes in the freezer. And uh, I, I took them out today, so I put them in a week ago. I took them out today. So then I added about five tablespoons of cinnamon, give or take, ten packages of sugar substitute, and four ounces of 
cream cheese. Okay? So now we're going to add some milk. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Like that, okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Okay. Let's lock it down. Remember the ninja is loud, okay? So you're going to hear the motor. Here we go. Let's do mix. Okay, now I want to take a look and see what's going on. We're going to have to add some uh, margarine to that. So that's one heaping. Two heaping. Okay, it's about two heaping tablespoons. I'm just cleaning this out of here. Okay. So now I'm going to put it on boost. Boost uh, breaks it down even more than mix as I want to make sure the cream cheese is all bound together. Okay. So I'm going to cut the camera off for this and bring you right back so that you can not hear the motor this time. Okay, I'm going to put it on boost and let that go up to the number 20 and then I'll cut it off and I'll bring you back. Thank you. Okay, so our Ninja have stopped on boost. If, remember, if you don't have a Ninja, you can do this with a mixer, okay? Alright, so now we want to taste it. Wow. You know what it tastes like? It definitely tastes like sweet potato. But that cream cheese have thickened the sweet potatoes up. Normally, when you make it a pie or something, you'd have to either add canned milk or um, flour to thicken the batter. But in this case, it's already thick from the cream cheese. Wow. Let me show you that. I want to show you. If I can get this. Okay. 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 Look. You see that? I just stuck it in there. Nothing's dripping down. You see that? How about that, huh? And it's sweet enough. Wow, look at that. Okay, who to know? Okay, so I have some ready-made graham cracker uh, crust in these little pans here. There's six of them. So this is what we're going to fill our um, sweet potato cream cheese filling with. Did I say cream cheese cake? No. We're going to call this sweet potato cream cheese filling because I don't feel it's a cake. All right. So let me open these up and then I'll take the mixing part out of the machine and then we'll sh I'll show you at that point. One second. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you again how thick that is. Look. See how long it took to drop down? Wow, wonderful. 
Okay. So now I'm just going to fill the graham cracker crust. So I got it. It's, the name of it is going to be uh, Sweet Potato Cream. Let me see. Sweet Potato Cream Cheese Pie Filling. Or Sweet Potato Cream Cheese Pie. I like that better. Okay. Alright guys. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to name it. Okay. There we go. You see? How about that? All right. And the cream cheese really multiplied the um, the filling, made the five potatoes come out a lot more. Okay, I want to get a thumbnail. Thumbnail. How about that, huh? Okay. Okay, back on this. Five. Six. Okay, I have all six filled out. just going to put it on this pan. It's easier for me to handle it because if you try to put these little ones in the oven, they might fall over. Then you got to clean up a mess. So there we go. All six. Okay. All right. So we're going to bake these. Let me get a thumbnail on this too. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Wait, I'm sorry. How about that? Hot thumbnail. Nice. Okay. So we're going to bake them in the oven for on 350 until they get brown. Um, let's see. Probably the tan of my arm around around there. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, we'll be back. Thanks. Okay. Our six sweet potato cream cheese. Let me try to hold it. Pies are out. All six. How about that, huh? You like that? I'm just holding this one because uh, the pan is hot and that and they're moving so I don't want it to fall okay okay so let me give you the word of the day so I live up north and winter is almost here it's fall now and you know the heat bill is one of the things that really put stress on our pocket so you have time call the gas company and see if you can make a payment arrangement that's so that you can pay a certain amount each month it's the same amount each month and then they tally up i believe on the 11th month 
that way you can budget your budget accordingly. So what they'll do is they'll look at how much you paid last year and they'll divide that by 12 or something like that and then that way they know how much you should pay every month. And it helps you with your financing and uh, your heat costs, okay? So call the gas company and see if you can get a, a heating arrangement. Okay, that's the word of the day. That's a tip to help you in your pocket. All right, talk to you soon. Hit the links below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the sweet potato cream cheese pie. Yes. All right, talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.